Imagine an AI video generator that doesn't include an editor and that automatically publishes for you on a schedule. Imagine an AI video generator that automatically creates content according to prompts that you've given it or preset popular genres that are already getting likes and clicks. Imagine letting this thing run until you reach monetization and then going and hiking in the mountains for four months straight while this thing earns money and you don't even touch it. That's this guy's goal right here. A little over a year ago, I tested a few faceless automated YouTube channels. I used Capwing to build the videos, and I was trying to generate videos with as little intervention as possible, crank them out, spit them out to YouTube, and see what happened. Unfortunately, none of my channels really panned out. Also, it took a little bit more work than I really wanted it to. Capwing is a, a really great video editor and a springboard for pro editors, but it wasn't really something that was the, the true faceless automated channel that I wanted to create. I found a tool that I wanted to test. It's very interesting because it's not an editor. All it really does is take a prompt and generate an automatic video series and publish it for you. You want to head on over to autoshorts.ai. I've got a link down in the description. Thank you for using it. It'll help me keep making these videos. As you can see, they've got an affiliate portal. That's what this link is. Thank you very much. I haven't used this yet, so full disclosure, I don't know if this is going to work. I jumped on this because I tried out a demo the other day and I made a free video. You can create a demo account without paying for it and generate one video. And I immediately saw a short that I kind of recognized, but the script was different, but it was a similar story. And I remember looking at that short and I remember thinking, wow, this short had like 500,000 or something crazy views. I'm pretty sure there are people out there using tools like this. I gotta see if this is gonna work. So what I've done is I've created an account, I'm about to upgrade it, and I'm going to regularly post for a year, and I'm gonna document my progress and see if I can actually turn a faceless shorts channel into money for myself. I've created a new YouTube channel called What a Burglar. You can see my little logo and the graphic I've generated. I generated both of those at my favorite new AI image generator, ideogram.ai. No affiliate link to share there. This is just one of the most awesome services I've used, and I'm using it for t-shirts and all sorts of things because the text output is impeccable. So many fewer errors on the text. Anyway, that's a little bit of a segue. I've got my channel ready to go. Now, I'm going to upgrade my account real quick. Once I upgrade it, I'm going to connect the YouTube account, and you guys are going to watch me do it. Let's check it out. So I'm going to click on the upgrade icon at the top of the screen. Scroll down, and you can see the different price tiers. You can create one video for free just to check it out. I'm going to create my starter account, and then I'm going to post a short three times a week see how much traction I can get on my videos, and then maybe upgrade from there. So, pardon while I enter in my credit details and confirm my purchase. All right, my starter plan is now activated. Let's see what it looks like creating a short. I'm gonna click Create, and now I assume, yep, let's link a YouTube account. I wonder if you can automate TikTok and YouTube simultaneously or if it's only one account at a time. I suppose I'll find out here in a minute. And let's see, choose an account. The Whataburglar. Continue. Success. Nice. Ooh, so maybe I should create a parallel TikTok account and do both. Hmm. Kind of stands to reason, doesn't it? Wonder if I can do that later. I bet I can. So I'm just going to do YouTube for now. What a burglar content. And this is where we get the opportunity to choose from any one of these preset options or choose a custom prompt. Hmm. I imagine I'm going to end up getting into custom prompts if these become too generic. But for today, I'm just going to do... I wonder if we can change that. I have so many questions, to be honest. So you guys are going to come along with me as I find out. Such as if I choose a topic today, is it just going to automatically generate only this topic? Or can I change it later? Let's see... 
random AI story. Scary stories, interesting history. What should the Whataburger be? Urban legends, why not? And let's choose a voice. The sun rises in the east and... Nope. The library is a... The train chugged along. Welcome to autoshorts.ai. Welcome to autoshorts.ai. Autoshorts... Welcome to autoshorts... <laughs> if I did. Sorry, guys. I have a weird sense of humor. Welcome to Auto Shorts AI. Auto Shorts automatically. Welcome to Auto Shorts AI. Auto. <laughs> have it whisper stories to people. I'm Welcome have... to Auto Shorts AI. Auto Shorts. <laughs> Welcome to Auto Shorts AI. Welcome to Auto Shorts. Voice clones. Ooh. I'm not too fond of my voice, but let's see how this comes. Oh, wait. I need 60 seconds of my own voice to be able to do that. Hmm. Maybe I'll get to that later. So that would be interesting. That might be kind of cool later. Uh, let's do art style. What art style do I want? GTAV. Grand Theft Auto, Auto Shorts V2. I'm going to choose that. 30 to 60 seconds. I got 60 to 90. Background music on. All right. So let's finalize the Welcome voice. Welcome to Auto Shorts. Welcome to Auto Shorts. Welcome to Auto. Welcome to Auto Shorts. Welcome to Auto. Shorts. Welcome to Auto. Welcome to Auto Shorts. Welcome to Welcome to Auto Shorts. Welcome to Auto Welcome to Auto Shorts. AI. Welcome to Auto Shorts. Welcome to Auto Shorts. Welcome to Auto Shorts. Welcome to Auto Shorts. AI. Welcome to Auto Shorts. AI. Welcome to Auto Shorts. AI. Auto Shorts automatically creates schedules and posts faceless videos for you on autopilot. Ready to get started? Let's do Wyatt. All right, Urban Legends, Wyatt as the voice, Auto Shorts V2 as the art style, create series. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> All right, so here's the thing. When I did a demo of this and I chose Urban Legends, this was the first one it came uh, up with. And this is very similar to the one I saw online, The Legend of La Leorona. So I'm really hoping, and this is this is going to test its mettle, is it just going to repeat stories? Because I do not want one instance of the same story rehashed again and again. And sometimes you'll find your prompts in AI if you don't turn up the temperature or do something, we'll end up repeating a lot of the same common themes and stories. If it does that, I might not be too happy with it. But here's the thing. In all previous instances where I've tried things before, I've kind of reinvented the wheel. So maybe in this instance, just running with existing content that is already getting likes and clicks. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. All right, let's take a look at what it generated. La Llorona, or the Weeping Woman, is a tragic figure in Latin American folklore. Originating from Mexico, the tale tells of a beautiful woman who drowned her children in a fit of rage, only to regret her actions. Now, she wanders rivers, weeping for her lost little ones, searching for them eternally. Variations of the legend exist across countries, each adding local elements and characters. Some claim to hear her cries near water, foretelling misfortune. Folklorists suggest real events, such as historical drownings, inspired this chilling narrative. 
The legend serves as a cautionary tale, <laughs> warning against the consequences of unchecked passion well, and sorrow. Kinda hot. It captivates and terrifies generations. All right, so pretty cool. Now I wonder if this is just going to automatically publish YouTube visibility public art style. Scheduled to post September 23. I wonder if I can change that. Okay, yes. So here we are at the scheduler. Let's see. What day do I want it to post? Today is Friday. I guess I can't do it today. So I'm going to go ahead and have it ripped tomorrow. I wonder what days are best. I, I really have no idea. Probably every single day. But since I'm doing a three-day or a three uh, post per week account. Let's do Saturday. Let's do Monday. Friday, why not? And let's do those at, is there a particular best time of day to post your shorts? If you guys know that magic answer, let me know down in the comments, I'm curious. There we go. Submit. Okay, once you have scheduled, you can't change your schedule for a week. So it's set to rip. I'm gonna check my channel tomorrow and see the first video. I bet we can edit some of this other stuff too, like edit prompt. Oh yeah, I can already tell looking at this prompt. I mean, it's a pretty basic prompt. I'm going to investigate video prompting a little bit um, here in the next few days. I'm going to try to craft a custom prompt because I have a feeling that's where the secret sauce is going to lie in not generating generic videos that are a little bit too repetitive. I even have to wonder if YouTube will eventually start popping people when content is all based on the same prompt. You know what I mean? I would have no doubt at all that this prompt right here might generate repeated stories. Let's see if it accidentally does that. If it does and it gives me La if it gives me La Llorona over again, then I know it's time to give this a completely different prompt and see where it goes. New faceless automated YouTube channel locked and loaded. Time to test it and see if it works. Who knows, I might even test a couple of them. I have a feeling if you hit on the right concept and the right gimmick, I mean, how can it not work? So thank you for joining me today. If you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me keep making content. And uh, happy making faceless automated YouTube channels, guys.